Have you ever dreamed of creating stunning 3D models without spending countless hours of 3D modeling and texturing? What if I told you there's an AI that can generate high quality 3D assets from just a text prompt or an image? Well, that's exactly what Meshi AI promises. And today we're putting it to the test. Hi guys, today we're taking a deep dive into the world of AI powered 3D model creation with Meshi AI. I'll show you how to generate awesome models and then we'll take them into Blender to build a complete scene. Let's get started. So, what exactly is Meshi.ai? In a nutshell, it's an AI service that allows you to generate 3D models and textures from simple text descriptions or by uploading 2D images. You can literally type in a rusty sci-fi robot and get a 3D model back in seconds. Meshi.ai even allows you to rig and animate your 3D humanoid models, so they're ready to drop straight into your animations. The platform operates on a credit system. They offer a free tier, which is super generous, giving you enough credits to really explore what it can do without committing financially. This is perfect for trying it out before you decide if it's right for your workflow. For more serious use, they have paid plans that offer more credits and features including rigging and animation. Alright, let's jump into the fun part, generating some models. First, text to 3D. This is where you describe what you want and Meshi tries to bring it to life. Let's try this, a magical ancient book, glowing runes on its cover. You can also use the helper which will rewrite your description to guide the AI. Once you hit generate, it'll take a minute or two to process and then give you four alternative models to choose from. You then choose the model you like best and Meshi will create a material for it. And boom, look at that, a pretty decent ancient book with glowing runes. The detail here is surprisingly good for an AI generated model. You can inspect the model, rotate it and see its topology. It's now ready to be imported into virtually any 3D software. Next. Let's try image to 3D. This is incredible for taking a concept sketch or even a photo and turning it into a 3D object. Meshi uses an AI image generator to convert a prompt into an image. Let's try a retro futuristic car. Once I've got the image I like, I can convert it into a mesh and then choose the best option to texture. A short wait and there it is. While it's not a perfect one-to-one, -one, it's a fantastic base to work from and it captures the essence of the 2D image. Now it's not always perfect and sometimes the AI might not get exactly what you're looking for. But with a bit of experimenting and perseverance, you can get some great results and I've been really impressed with what it can produce. Once you've got your model, it's time to get it ready for Blender. Meshi AI allows you to download your models in various formats, including the native Blender format. Once you import it into Blender, you can quickly edit the material and add a HDRI to get fantastic results very quickly. A quick tip here, if your model is too dense, you can use Blender's Decimate modifier to reduce the poly count while maintaining detail. This is super useful for game assets or if you're building a very large scene. Now the exciting part, let's build a scene. I've generated a load of models for a retro futuristic scene. We'll start by importing our Meshi models, the flying cars and buildings, and then scale them roughly to real world dimensions. I'm just blocking out the scene here, moving things around, adding some additional assets from Blender Kit, including the bridge and the road, then adding some paths for animation of the car. After an hour or so, I've got a scene set up and animated. I've added some trees and haze for scale, and the robot walks in the foreground. So with a bit of effort, we're bringing these AI generated assets to life in our own custom environment. It really speeds up the workflow, allowing you to focus more on scene composition and artistic direction rather than getting bogged down in modeling individual assets, especially for items which aren't readily available in Blender Kit or Sketchfab. So what's my final verdict on Meshi AI? Insanely fast prototyping. You can get textured 3D models in minutes. 
great for characters and environmental props. Intuitive interface, very easy to pick up and start generating. Great rigging tools, quick and easy to use with lots of animation presets. A generous free tier, great for experimentation. The knots are perfect. Consistency can vary. Sometimes the AI might misinterpret a prompt. Topology isn't always optimized. You might need to do some cleanup in Blender. Limited complexity for now. Don't expect super intricate buildings or geometric structures yet. Overall, Meshi AI is an incredibly promising tool. It's not going to replace human 3D artists, but it's an amazing asset for concepting, rapid prototyping, and filling out scenes with unique assets without starting from scratch. For indie game developers, animators, or even just hobbyists looking to quickly populate their scenes, this is a game changer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more Blender tutorials and tech reviews. Have you tried Mishi AI or any other AI 3D generation tools? Let me know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.